this is really pissing me off. I'm not actually sure where to uh, connect. Yeah, that's just peachy. The uh, front panel audio connector does not seem to conform to any anything on this board. That's great. Ah, here it is. I was looking at the wrong cable. There we go. Thank you. What the hell is this one for? That is the... This is the Firewire one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we got it. Good. So we found the front, uh, front audio panels. I just had to... There was one... There was a couple of audio things there that just weren't making sense to me, but uh, I actually found the one, and it's even color coordinated with the plug that I was holding my hand and didn't realize. Okay, good. All right, so that's all I needed to know. So it basically, looks like the um, the only thing I can't use on the front is the uh, the FireWire, which is kind of annoying. Although I do have a PCI FireWire card. I wonder if I can actually plug it into that. Let me uh, check. Yeah, I do actually have a PCI card that gives me FireWire ports, so the loss of the front port is not a major concern. I was just checking to see if maybe there was an internal plug that would allow me to hook up the the front port, but uh, there isn't. There's actually a space for one here, but you actually have to solder it on, and it does not include the uh, components for that. So it looks like we'll be limited to the back ports, which is kind of, you know, kind of disappointing, but what can you do, right? Now, the only thing I haven't quite figured out yet is where the heck to hook up this, which is for the, um, the front uh, power. Ah, oh, here's the top one. Is, so green is power, yellow is hard drive. It's uh... okay. So, taking a look at the old board, how did this thing plug into it? Oh god, that's it. It was just like that. The LED. Why is it different? Why? Why does it need to be so different? Um, this is gonna really suck if I can't even have like a soft reset, you know? Okay, so after much farting around, I determined that the front panel power button and LEDs on my case are not compatible with this motherboard. So it looks like if I ever need to do a uh, soft reset, I'm screwed. <laughs> That's not good. Oh well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll just have to live with it. And then of course we don't have the, uh, the firewire. But at least we found everything else. At least I got my front audio connectors and my front USB connectors. So, so that's good. But it's uh, it's definitely annoying about the power switch. Um, 
I don't know why they're configured so differently. I mean, they're just wildly different. Like, there's just no way I can put put this, put this in in any way. Uh, okay, so I guess, you know, we're just going to leave it and not worry about it. Wait a minute, does this mean that I'm not even going to be able to power it on? That's, uh... That's very not good. Hold it a second. Is there any way I can even just get the power switch to go? I don't think there is. Fuck. Oh, and look at that. This only supports two IDE devices. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is just freaking beautiful. Yeah. Well, obviously we need to favor the hard drives in that case, so... We're just gonna plug the hard drives in now just to uh, have that part of it done. Okay, so IDE there. And... God, these ribbons are such a pain in the ass. Okay, and then... function without those front controls because uh, that means I don't actually have a power button. I will have the the main power switch on the back of the um, power supply and that's it which means I'll be doing hard resets if the system ever crashes and that's not good so we're gonna look into uh, maybe getting some kind of an adapter or something to see if uh, there's any way I can get that front panel operational, or if there's just some cheap front panel controls that I can uh, I can replace that one with. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see what happens. Okay, so let's uh, let's get the power supply plugged in there. Okay, lots and lots of cables. Mmm, new power supply smell. Delicious. Moses, this is a lot of cables. Okay. All right. So the way the power supply goes on is uh, is pretty straightforward. You basically want the fan facing down. And uh, yeah. Okay. And here, you see, we just don't have a lot of room in this case. That. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry, it was just just a little misaligned. Nothing to nothing to panic about. Okay. So then this is pretty straightforward. Um, did I have screws? Nope. Again, we have not been provided with screws. That's okay. No worries, because we actually have screws left over from before. So again, just the uh, standard. Metric screws go in there. Uh, come on. And uh, hold everything in place quite nicely. And there's actually a little uh, sort of shelf in the case itself. But you can probably see it. It actually sits on this these two uh, units there. So it actually uh, just sits on the thingy. That's the technical term for it. it. It sits on the thingy. So we're just gonna put all these screws in there. And this is uh, this is nothing fancy in terms of power supply. I mean, I don't think it lights up or anything like that, and it doesn't sing you show tunes. Basically, it just gets the job done. I'm I'm very like that with pretty much all things computers. 
I don't need anything fancy, just as long as it gets the job done. Um, I will always take functionality over aesthetics any day. I mean, for God's sake, I'm using an old compact case for this. Come on. <laughs> but uh, at least the majority of things are fitting, which is nice. I'm hoping that that lack of a front power button uh, does not cause a problem. All right, so first things first, we need to find the big one, the big plug. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's get all these out of the way here. So the big plug, this one here, you can't miss it. Uh, this is the main one that plugs into the uh, actual motherboard power supply here. So we're just gonna try to our way over to it. Let's go here. Oh, it actually, uh, see, it, it breaks off if it's, uh, there's a detachable segment here if it's uh, the type of motherboard that doesn't require the full uh, size of it. Okay, so let's uh, tell by which way they're angled. Goes, actually goes this way. Plug right in. Pretty simple. Uh, again, they've basically angled everything so there's only one way they can go in. Oh, you see, we're, we're rapidly running out of room in here. Um, this is really, really tight. We need to keep some room here for power to the various hard drives. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, let's separate out all the various wire types. These different devices use different types. Okay, here we go. So this, uh, this skinny type here goes, I believe, to the serial ATA drives. Yes. Okay. Now, if you're finding that everything's kind of getting in the way, you can actually uh, oh, never mind. <laughs> you know what I was thinking of? I was thinking of my old computer, where it would actually allow you to slide out the drive chassis uh, of all the drives, so you could uh, get a little bit more room in there. But apparently, this isn't one of those. So, yeah, okay. All right, whatever. Okay. So we just need to figure out where to go here. Okay, so apparently we're not going to be able to use the, uh, the other burner because there aren't enough IDE slots, or there, there aren't, aren't enough IDE ports in here. So I actually cannot use other uh, DVD burner. It's kind of annoying. So I guess uh, we're moving over entirely to Lightscribe. So let's actually just take this this old drive right out because it's just taking up space in there and uh, we'll keep it as a backup if we need it. Okay and then this gives us a little bit more space <laughs> where we can sort of stash things that we don't need. All right so uh, first off let's uh, Let's get power to the, the two IDE drives. Uh, just untangle everything here. Okay. So, uh, pretty simple. You don't need to do anything too fancy here. You just uh, uh, go. Um, where does it go? It goes this way. Okay. So you just plug it in. You don't really have to do anything fancy in terms of configuring or anything. You just, you know, wherever there's a spare power thing, you just plug it in. Because it, it's not going to send power to anything that isn't plugged in. So, don't worry about it. Uh, okay, and then down here, we have... Uh, need to configure anything here. Let me just check... Uh, all right, it doesn't look like we actually have to bother with jumpers or anything with the um, serial ATA drive, so fair enough. Okay. 
Okay, so where's that? Uh, Serial ATA uh, power thing here, so we need to uh, shuffle some things around a little bit. No biggie. This thing it goes sometimes. I thought we'd uh, have more than that, but apparently we don't. So we actually need to take this drive and uh, move it down to here just so we have room. somewhere. Uh, this way? Yeah, go this way. I don't really care which way the uh, two IDE drives are configured because they're just going to be used for storage and stuff anyway. Uh, probably mostly temporary storage for I move things to the uh, bigger hard drives. Okay, there we go. So, now... This. <laughs> Where'd my, uh, where'd my ATA power go? It just disappeared. Where the hell is it? <laughs> That's not it. Where did the other... Oh, there it is. I stashed the wrong one. Okay. Oh, no. And you! We'll deal with you in a minute. Okay, so next we need to get out of my way. Okay, so we need to put one of these here. There we go. And the other one, we'll squeeze down here. God, and it's upside down. Great. Squeeze down here. God, why do they only give you one of these? Everything uses serial ATA now. You stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> 